In today's video, I'm hitting the high street to discover and share with you guys what it's really like to shop for perfume in store post COVID lockdown. So yesterday, I was able to take you guys with me as I did my first vlog. Let's take a look at yesterday and see how my first vlog went. In the UK, a number of the lockdown rules have been lifted and the shops have been open for about a few weeks now. So today I want to understand what restrictions have been put in place and what processes have been put in place and how these restrictions have impacted the overall experience of going to a store and buying a perfume. I finally get to take you guys shopping with me. I'm going to Selfridges, Harrods and Boots and I'm going to compare the difference between all three stores. So without further ado, let's put our masks on and head to the high street. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to my channel i'm trying to reach a goal of getting 100 subscribers within the next month if you gain any value from this content please don't forget to leave this video a massive thumbs up and my question of the day for you is do you prefer to shop for perfumes in store or online let me know in the comment section down below guys it's getting late so we better hit the shops let's go <laughs> that I went to was Selfridges and if you're not from the UK Selfridges is a massive department store that's based in Oxford Street they sell every fragrance you can think of from niche to designer so they're very versatile Selfridges has a one-way system where you queue to be let into the store and there's security outside and they offer you masks as you come in I personally found it a little bit annoying that they have this one-way system just because I wanted to get to the perfume counter really quickly and and one of their main doors is access to the perfume area so it was a little bit frustrating but I understand that they have their processes that they need to follow. Selfridges post lockdown was really interesting and I got talking to the sales assistants and I was really shocked to hear that when Selfridges first opened you weren't allowed to smell the fragrances at all there were no testers whatsoever <laughs> do they expect you to use Fragrantica to have a look at the notes and decide what fragrance you want like how are you meant to buy perfume if you can't smell it however as you can see the testers are back but they've removed these spray nozzles from all of the bottles because you're you're not allowed to touch any of the bottles whatsoever. Selfridges employees are on job because I noticed that when they'd finish using a bottle, they would sanitize it straight away. They're not playing any games. <gasps> Guys, it was so awkward, right? So I witnessed a really awkward conversation between a customer and one of the sales associates. The customer wanted to touch the bottle and the sales associate was like, no, you can't. And he flipped out. He was like, how dare you? I can touch it if I want to. He was being a little bit of a knob, but I can kind of understand where he was coming from as when you go shopping for a perfume, you go for the experience. And I know that me personally, I like to have the autonomy of being able Able to touch a bottle and spray it where I want, how I want. Guys, Selfridges was dead. Like, I've never seen Selfridges so dead in my life. Like, I think I only saw about four customers in the perfume area. And that's usually unheard of because Selfridges is such a busy shop. It was really sad to see. I think a lot of people are still leaning on the side of caution when it comes to going to the stores to shop. And I think that a lot of us fragrance enthusiasts, we know exactly what we want. We try loads of decants and we tend to order things on online or through Facebook groups and things so it's hard for these department stores so after visiting Selfridges it was time for me to head up to Boots to see what the experience was like there let's have a look and see what it's like
glad that I went to Boots because as you can see, in comparison to Selfridges, a lot of the tester bottles have disappeared completely, particularly from the branded counters. I personally feel that the tester perfume bottles bring an aesthetic to the store as you walk in, so it's a real shame that they're gone. Some of the tester bottles are there, however you can't access them because they've locked the cabinets. I noticed that the Boots sales assistants were really taking the social distancing thing seriously. They were like, forget two meters, we're doing five meters. I could barely hear them when they were talking to me, but they were being very cautious to not get too close. So in my personal opinion, I felt that the interaction element when purchasing a perfume and boots had completely gone. It's hard to deliver the same level of services when you're literally standing miles away from me. One thing that I also noticed was that it actually takes longer to get through the process of buying a perfume because there's so much strict processes in place that they need to follow so you do find yourself being there a little bit longer than usual and I feel like Boots have adapted to these regulations and they've actually found ways to still deliver an excellent customer service so they almost have this consultation style in their customer service now when selling perfumes so they ask more questions like what favorite notes do you like what do you usually wear it's a lot more tailored to you and what you're looking for compared to in the past where they would just leave you to get on with it and you would just test things on your own and kind of decide on your own. I got talking with one of the sales assistants and she opened up to me and said that the sales have dropped significantly which again is really sad. Little bit of value and quick advice for you guys. Boots have got some amazing deals on fragrances right now in store and online so do check them out. So I'm done with <laughs> in Oxford Street and now I'm gonna get this train down to Harrods um, it's been really interesting having a look around and seeing some of the changes like it's so dead in these high streets it's literally dead in the shops I feel really awkward like everyone's staring at me right now um, but yeah let's jump on the train and get to Harrods by the time I finished in Selfridges and Boots I was drained and I felt like I was only there for an hour and a half I just felt very stressed and a bit agitated with being in shops so when I arrived in Knightsbridge I needed to sit down and get a nice refreshment and I did so at my favorite cafe Elaine Cafe. this cafe is literally what dreams are made of I want my bedroom to look like this pink glitter unicorns oh my god this cafe literally has has Lauren written all over it. It's a dream. I've taken pictures on those unicorns by the way. But yeah, it was just so nice prior to going in Harris to just take a minute and just relax, have a nice Nutella hot chocolate and kind of plan what shots I was gonna get for the next part of this vlog. Let's take a look back to the vlog and see what Harrods is like. <laughs> was by far the best in-store experience I had out of all of the free stores. What I loved is that a lot of the brands actually allow you to touch the bottles and spray it yourself now, but it is at discretion of the brands. From memory, I think Creed and MFK didn't allow you to touch the bottles, but quite a few brands did. I don't think I've ever seen Harrods so quiet, but I guess this is a positive. If you're going to Harrods and you're looking to buy perfume, you have more time with the sales assistants. So I caught up with various sales associates and the general consensus was that impulse purchases have actually decreased since lockdown. 
When Harrods first reopened in the first week, they did have a lot of sales. But interestingly, since the government have made it compulsory for customers to wear masks in store, they've seen a significant drop in sales, which is really interesting. A lot of the sales associates did mention that there has been a slight increase in domestic sales, but they are really, really missing the international sales. Harrods is a tourist hotspot and majority of their sales revenue does come from international tourists with people not being able to travel London hasn't got that much tourism this summer it's really hard on them so what are my final thoughts you ask I would say that if you're someone that is curious to hit the high streets and buy perfume in store but maybe you're a little bit worried then I honestly don't think you have too much to worry about because from what I saw from the free stores that I visited, there are strict guidelines and regulations in place that are there to keep you safe. But my analysis, I must admit that I do believe that the retail shopping experience for perfume has changed significantly. It's so unfortunate. It just doesn't feel as special, magical, impromptu as it used to. It's just really stressful as there's so much guidelines in place and there's so many things that you can do and can't do. From visiting the stores, you can clearly see that attitudes towards high street shopping has changed significantly. And this is from the decrease in sales as well as the general footfall in the stores. The stores are dead. Where are you? Where are the people? Where is everyone? I'm so confused. I genuinely thought that with all this free time that people have, people would be at least window shopping. I understand people don't have money, but come on, look around. For me, I personally prefer online shopping. If I want to try a fragrance, I just buy a sample and then once I know what I want, I buy it online. There's, it just takes the stress away. Things are just too stressful in stores right now. <sighs> You know what guys, I'm genuinely worried for the future of the high street. I do wonder and worry how these uncertain times are going to impact the high street overall, you know. You're seeing the news like Debenhams is closing down and John Lewis is closing stores and making people redundant. It's really worrying times guys. But we can all do our bit guys, if we try to support the high street, big or small, as much as we can, then we can really save it during these troubling times. I genuinely wanna know what your opinions are on this topic. Do you prefer shopping for perfume online or in store? After watching this video, has it tempted you to visit the high street to buy a perfume? Let me know in the comments below all your thoughts on this topic. Don't forget to subscribe because it honestly makes my heart so whole when I see a new subscriber and I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers within the next month so please make this happen for me. Of course don't forget to leave this video a massive thumbs up if you got any value from this content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!